Hi, in this video we're going to do a quick challenge. I'm going to show you a few hints on how to do the update quantity. So I'm going to demonstrate how the update quantity should work. So instead of $11, I'm going to change that to something like 29, uh, 29 items and update. And so you can see that the quantity is 29, the subtotal is bigger, and so is the total price. And so I'm not going to show you the code for how this works, but you can probably take a few hints. So first of all, let's take a look at the show cart PHP uh, file. And the key line here is we are pointing our browser to this file called update quantity. And the get value for this form is going to have the ID number of the product. And it is also going to have the quantity of the product. And so the submit button will send the browser there. Now you can see that when I do an update, the browser goes to that form, very quickly comes back to this form. So it looks like it's instantaneous, but there's several round trips of traffic that are going on. Now I'll tell you where some of the code is that you could probably use for the update command. Let's go back and take a look at the cart object here. So the cart object has a function already built in from some lessons ago called update quantity. And so what it's asking for is two input numbers, the product ID and the new quantity. So we're going to use the, uh, the cart's uh, built-in function. Also to recalculate the totals, we'll probably use the calc total. So you can see over here in my files, I have update QTY, and this is the file that runs the calculation and then returns the browser to show cart. So like I say, I'll leave this as a challenge, probably to figure out how to grab those uh, input uh, values from 55, send it to another file, and then redisplay show cart. So once you've accomplished that challenge, you will have reached all of the milestone items here for number four. So we've created a session variable called cart. We have built a test for it. We've done some functions that let us add to the cart, show it. We worked with money formatting. And then this last challenge here is updating the quantities that are in the cart. 